companies around the world are racing to create the next new thing in transportation. And while flying cars haven't yet gone mainstream, there are several concept prototypes that look very promising. Here are 15 future flying vehicles that will likely change the world. Number 15, the Opener Blackfly. If you're looking for a completely automated flying experience, then the Opener Blackfly is right down your alley. Made by Canadian-based company Opener, the Blackfly is essentially a one-person capsule that can transport you from point A to point B without you ever having to steer or navigate. Vertically elevating itself from the ground with the help of eight propellers, the Black Fly is powered by a nearly noiseless 12 kilowatt battery and can travel at up to speeds of 130 kilometers per hour for a distance of about 65 kilometers before needing to refuel. Best of all, once these are on the market, you won't even need a pilot's license to use one. After all, thanks to its computer powered navigation, you can safely travel aboard the Black Fly without ever having taken a flying lesson. Number 14, the Velocity. Set to become the first commercially licensed aircraft by German company Volocopter, the Velocity is essentially an electrically powered futuristic helicopter. Interestingly, rather than using a traditional gasoline engine and large propeller, the Velocity instead uses a large circle that forces 18 small rotors powered by nine rechargeable batteries, which means that the Velocity's rotor noise is more than five times softer than even the quietest of helicopters. However, with it being able to carry just two passengers while having a flight time of only 30 minutes and a range of just 17 miles, it certainly will need to be improved upon if it's to become a mainstream flying vehicle. Number 13. The Fly Ride While flying motorcycles may still be a thing of the future, the Zapata Fly Ride is probably the closest thing we have to one today. Designed to be used on a large body of water, it's attached to an underwater PWC connector kit with a 20-meter hose and works by essentially funneling water through its hose in order to elevate the vehicle. Allowing the rider to go at speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour, it reportedly only takes about 15 minutes to learn how to use and even comes with a parent-held remote control to allow children as young as six to use it. However, at a price of about $11,500, the fly ride will set your bank balance back significantly more than a regular motorcycle. Number 12, the Kitty Hawk Flyer. If you'd like to be able to drive a flying car without ever needing to buy a pilot's license, then the Kitty Hawk Flyer is for you. With the flyer being as easy to use as playing Minecraft, according to Kitty Hawk CEO Sebastian Thrun, this 250 pound aircraft is made for off-road fun in secluded areas. Using 10 independent lift fans to propel itself, this single-seater operates at an elevation of anywhere between three and 10 feet and has been flown over 25,000 times. Due to it currently being illegal to use on the road, at the moment it can only be used at Kitty Hawk's Lakeside Training Center. Number 11, Aston Martin Volante Vision. While it's still in its development stages, Aston Martin's Volante Vision promises to one day make driving a flying car a luxury affair. Made with a unique futuristic design that makes it look like it came out of a Star Wars movie, the Volante Vision will be able to sit up to three people and will use Rolls-Royce parts for at least part of its propulsion. However, with no clear production dates or timelines currently on the table, it may be a while until we see this beautiful aircraft flying in the sky. Number 10, the Terrafugia TF2. Although just a concept vehicle at the moment, the Terrafugia TF2 is designed to make travel by air and ground the norm for both everyday commutes and cargo shipments. Now the TF2 will have a propulsion system that consists of eight electric motors, and although it will take off like a helicopter, it will be able to fly like an airplane and drive like a car. Although the plan is that it will initially be powered by a turbine generator, the company hopes to transition to batteries in order to make it an electric vehicle as soon as possible. It's also hoped that its avionics will allow it to be completely self-driving, despite it having room for a pilot while in the air. And be it with a four-seat passenger cabin or 1,400-pound capacity cargo cabin, the TF2 will be designed to go at a max speed of 230 kilometers per hour, while having a maximum range of 300 kilometers. With it being hoped that these cabins could seamlessly be loaded or unloaded at hangars across the country, all we know for certain is that it will take substantial investments to get this project off the ground. Number 9. The Speeder 
Designed to be able to speed through the skies, the fittingly named Speeder is easily one of the world's most impressive flying motorcycles. Made by Californian-based company Jetpack Aviation, the Speeder is controlled by a driver who lies on their stomach while using joysticks and an electronic dashboard to control their flight. Now, while the majority are slated to be used both by the U.S. government and military, the company is planning to release 20 exclusive copies for recreational use and is dividing their recreational crafts into two classes. The first is their ultralight version, which will not require a pilot's license to use. However, as a result, it will only go at speeds of up to 97 kilometers per hour. You can instead opt to buy their experimental version. Far outpacing the ultralight, the experimental can reach speeds of over 240 kilometers per hour and can reach altitudes as high as 4,600 meters. However, if you'd like your own, you'll have to be prepared to pay up, as their pre-order price of $380,000 certainly isn't cheap. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Ehang 184 if you're the type that enjoys being chauffeured from place to place, then the Ehang 184 is probably the vehicle for you. That's because this flying drone is designed to transport one passenger from place to place without the need of a pilot. The idea is that after said passengers tells the drone where to go, they would be able to sit back while the Ehang transports them at speeds of up to 130 km per hour, thanks to the help of eight environmentally friendly and battery-powered propellers. Best of all, the system would be completely automated and controlled entirely thanks to computers with human intervention from operators in a control center only occurring if there's some sort of malfunction. However, the Ehang 184 does have some downsides. Perhaps the most worrisome is that the battery can only last for about 23 minutes before having to be charged, giving it an extremely limited range of just 10 miles, even in the best of conditions. After this limit is reached, then it must charge for two to four hours, making it infeasible to use as a taxi service. But worst of all, at a price of between $200,000 to $300,000 per unit, it's relatively expensive compared to many small but much more capable helicopters on the market today. Number 7. The Terrafugia TFX Although just a prototype at the moment, the Terrafugia TFX may just be one of the most innovative flying cars on this list. A four-seater powered by both an electric engine and 300-horsepower gasoline engine, it will be able to take off without a runway, lifting itself thanks to a set of propellers that can generate a total force of 1 megawatt. This will allow it to go at a top speed of about 320 kilometers per hour, and will be able to travel for about 800 kilometers before needing to refuel. To top this off, it will be completely computer-controlled while flying, and will be able to safely take off and land for you at just the push of a button. However, the plane is unfortunately still in the early stages of development, and once complete, it's expected to come in at an asking price north of $300,000. Thus, you'll need to have pretty deep pockets if you'd like to have the keys to one of your own. Number 6. The Aeromobile 4.0 If you'd like a flying car that is as futuristic as it is functional, then the Aeromobile 4.0 is right down your alley. A startup based in Slovakia, Aeromobile designed the car so that it can be fully functional on the road while working like an airplane when airborne. Its exterior looks like a mini airplane when in flight mode, while its interior features a race car style steering wheel, a large electronic touchscreen interface, and seats that disperse one's weight in an optimal manner. It also has a ballistic recovery parachute that can be deployed on command, allowing for safe descents even if a flight control were to malfunction. Regarding its performance, it's powered by two different engines based on what mode it's in. While in driving mode, the car is powered by a 110 horsepower twin E motor, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 160 km per hour and run at a rather efficient 24 km per liter of gasoline. However, once in the air, it transitions to a much more powerful 300 horsepower turbocharged Euro 6 internal combustion engine, which allows it to reach speeds of up to 360 km per hour while having a range of about 750 km. However, if you'd like to own one of the just 500 being produced, you'll have to shell out a cool $1.3 to $1.6 million in order to call one your own. Number 5. The Terrafugia Transition Being first flown and certified in 2019, the Terrafugia Transition, while not on the market just yet, certainly seems to be the future of car flight. Essentially a two-seated vehicle, the transition acts as a completely street-legal car while on land and can be converted to an airplane at the push of a button. Now, the plane itself was made in order to, as put by the company itself, quote, fit in a standard garage, use premium autogas, and require a light sport pilot certification to start flying. 
As a result, it's targeted towards casual pilots who would like to fly without the hassle of owning a full-on airplane. Interestingly, the Terrafugia transition has two different engines depending on whether it is in drive mode or fly mode. While flying, it makes use of a powerful Rotax 912IS 100HP 4-cylinder fuel-injected 2,000-horsepower TBO engine, but while in drive mode, it simply uses a hybrid electric motor. As a result, the transition can travel in the air at speeds of up to 161 km per hour. It has an efficiency of about 19 km per liter and can hold about 76 liters of gasoline in its fuel tank. To top it off, the transition comes with a high-quality Dynon Skyview avionics set, meaning that you can expect to have all of your flight stats at your fingertips while piloting the car. Yet there are some limitations to the transition as well. The most noteworthy is that it cannot simply launch off your driveway into the sky. Rather, it must be brought to an aircraft hangar first, then take off from there. Also, its payload is only about 227 kilograms, meaning that if you're on the heavier side, you will not only have to travel light, but likely not have a passenger beside you. Yet considering how cool this crafty car is, we'd say its positives definitely outweigh the negatives, despite its rather high $279,000 price tag. Number 4. Lazarus La Moto Volante 496 Widely known as the LMV 496, this flying motorcycle is certainly one of the coolest on the market today. Essentially a flying sports motorcycle, the vehicle, which is made by French engineer Ludovic Lazarus, can transition from street mode to flying mode at the push of a button. Powered by four 96,000 RPM JetCat jet turbines, this 140 kilogram motorcycle can generate an impressive 240 kilograms of thrust and has a whopping 1300 horsepower. This power is all controlled by joysticks that are in the handlebars, with all essential flight information such as speed, position, and altitude appearing on an electric dashboard and sits between them. To top it off, considering that it has design elements such as a Kevlar composite bodywork, Italian rear loop, carbon wheel covers, and Rizoma accessories, you really can fly in style while on this magnificent motorcycle. However, despite its beautiful design and strong engine, the motorcycle also has quite a few downsides. The most notable is that its flight abilities are less than impressive, as it can only elevate itself about one meter in the air. This is made worse by the fact that the engine only has the capability of sustaining this height for about 10 minutes, and after this point, it must be brought back down to the ground. Yet perhaps the most troubling consideration of them all is that its cost is unbelievably high, coming in at a ridiculous expensive price of $560,000. Not only will you need to have deep pockets to afford this vehicle, but you'll also need to act quickly. That's because with only five in existence and four currently for sale, we'd recommend contacting Mr. Lazarus as soon as possible if you'd like your own LMV 496. Number three, the Skyrunner MK 3.2. If you're the type that loves to travel off-road, then the Skyrunner MK3.2 is the vehicle for you. That's because flying this ATV allows you to go on adventures not just on a field or beach, but even up in the air. Now, the vehicle is designed with a rugged military-grade chassis, inverted double wishbone suspension, carbon fiber body panels, and air-hardened heat-treated steel tubing, giving it the strength and durability to withstand nearly any terrain. Yet, in order to launch this 550-kilogram monstrosity, it requires the power of a 160-horsepower Rotax 914 engine and the help of a four-blade 75 propeller to elevate it into the sky. Once elevated, it can then travel at speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour at an altitude of about 3,050 meters and can remain in the air for about 160 kilometers before running out of fuel. Interestingly, in order to steer it once it's airborne, the Skyrunner only has two flight controls, a left and a right steering mechanism via its foot pedals, and a throttle quadrant to climb or descend. As a result, this intuitive flight system truly is one of the easiest forms of flight to master. And of course, once you're tired of flying high and the sky, and would like instead to travel on land, the Skyrunner can then parachute to the ground and seamlessly switch to Polaris ProStar 1000 engine, allowing the Skyrunner to reach its even quicker road speed of about 112 kilometers per hour. Yet, if you'd like your own, you better be willing to pay up. After all, at a price of about 230,000 bucks, it's certainly out of the price range of the average ATV buyer. Number two, the S3 2019 Hoverbike. If you're looking for one of the most advanced hoverbikes on the market, then look no further than the S3 2019. Created by the California-based startup Hoversurf, the bike features a trendy monocoque frame and various types of carbon fiber technology. Interestingly enough, the S3 is completely battery-powered, 
and its capacity of 12.3 kilowatt hours allows it to fly for up to 40 minutes while taking just two and a half hours to recharge. In order to elevate itself, it uses four surrounding propellers that generate about 364 kilograms of thrust. And once airborne, it features three classes of safety features, with the first being an electronic mechanism that facilitates emergency landings and warning systems, the second being a mechanical mechanism that activates a kill switch, and the third being a passive mechanism that protects the pilot while flying. This means that despite the hoverbike having a maximum speed of about 96 kilometers per hour, it's still extremely safe to ride. Yet, while the S3's design and specs are already impressive in their own right, they have garnered a lot of media attention recently due to the vehicles used by the Dubai Police Force. This is because in 2019, it was reported that said police force was being trained on how to use the vehicle, with the hope that they would be an official part of the police force arsenal by 2020. However, we're happy to note that you don't have to travel to Dubai to fly your own. That's because so long as you pass hover surf screening process, this bike can be yours for as little as $150,000. Number 1. The PAL-5 Liberty If you want to travel in style as you zoom through the sky, then it doesn't get much better than the PAL-5 Liberty. Coming in both standard version and a luxury rendition known as the Liberty Pioneer, both cars are set to be the future of car flight. Made by Dutch company PAL-5, the car has a stylish Italian design exterior that is elevated by a large propeller that extends out of the car when needed. Made in a similar fashion to a type of helicopter known as a gyrocopter, the PAL-5 has features such as aircraft stabilization and curve control in order to make for a smooth ride, and features two separate engines for both its land and flight modes. On land, the two-seater is a small yet capable car in its own right. After all, it features a 100-horsepower engine that allows it to reach a max speed of 160 km per hour, go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 9 seconds, drive for 13 km per liter, and travel for about 1,315 km before needing to refuel. However, once it's in the air, the PAL-5 Liberty becomes truly impressive. That's because in flight mode, the vehicle switches to a 200-horsepower engine, allowing it to get to a maximum speed of 180 kilometers per hour, at an altitude of 3,500 meters, for a max distance of 500 kilometers before needing to refuel. Now, in order to get you comfortable with the car, the company stands apart thanks to its offering a complete theoretical and live training course in how to use the vehicle, ensuring that you'll be able to drive and fly it safely. Additionally, if you choose to buy the Pioneer Edition instead of the Liberty, you get to completely customize many parts of the car. We'll get the car delivered to you before any of the Liberty aircraft, and we'll also be one of only 90 owners of the vehicle worldwide. However, if you'd like your own, it's going to cost you. After all, given the Liberty's pre-order price of $399,000 and the Pioneer's going price of $599,000, these vehicles are unfortunately reserved for only the ultra-rich. And that's all we have for you today, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which futuristic flying vehicle you would like to one day own. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.